So I want to say a little bit about our Climate Matters initiative that's going to be uh, going in here at the Market Hall quite shortly. What we're doing, we're not talking about a completely new exhibition. Um, we've taken a look at our existing um, exhibits, um, objects in our displays and some of the, sort of the broader installations at the Market Hall as well just to see what they can say really about climate change, what sort of angles um, they can say about climate change. So we have selected, I think, round about 10 or 11, at least in the first instance, um, objects in our displays um, that have some sort of quite interesting climate-related stories behind them. What I should say is that there'll be sort of special branding um, within these cases. You'll be able to see our labels, they'll be flagged up as climate matters. Um, there'll be special logos attached to them so they'll kind of stand out and we won't be um, altering the existing displays. The reason we're doing this I suppose is quite obvious. Climate change is a big thing. Um, it's a big thing within Warwick County Council. The County Council has declared a climate emergency. We've got objects um, and artefacts right across our collections really that have um, got all sorts of interesting things to say about climate change and by climate change I'm talking about um, events and change sort of ancient and modern. So the objects that we've selected, um, some of them actually are in the gallery where I am now and looking to my left to this case over here Obviously we're trying to sort of move away from um, the burning of coal now and uh, everyone's looking to sort of more renewable, more sustainable sort of energy sources but it's quite interesting just having this lump of coal on display there. So that's telling a story as well, um, not just how the coal itself was generated but obviously um, yeah, how you know we've exploited these resources over the decades and the centuries and a lot of people are saying now it's really time to stop or at least slow down drastically because of what we're doing to the climate. What else have we got in that case that we're going to be flagging up? A couple of slightly more quirky things. There's a little um, core, a partial core, a drilled core of volcanic rock. So that's from the Nuneaton Ridge right up in the north of the county and that tells us about a time when due to continental drift, believe it or not, Warwickshire was well south of the equator. The climate was very very cool, um, possibly a little bit cooler than the climate that we've got here in Warwickshire today. So that's all part of the climate story, it's not just about sort of human um, induced climate change. We're also looking at natural climate change over very, very large timescales as well. So also in this case we have a couple of pebbles. There are lots of pebbles um, like these to be found in Warwickshire. Um, they've got an incredible story to tell um, but I'll be saying a little bit more about that um, later.